Well, Bitwig just put out their 4.4 update. Uh, came with some cool new devices, and I know the entire internet has been very anxious to try them. Um, I have too. So I made a couple simple patches with them, and I thought I'd share them with you. The first one I made was with this loud split device. So it basically splits your signal into the loudest harmonics, the quietest harmonics, and then all the ones in between. Um, this is what the patch sounds like. You can hear it responding to aftertouch there. Um, you can kind of see it too. This one's really cool. I think this is actually going to be the most useful for general synth sound design. I added an empty one here so that we can just see what it sounds like. The oscillator is just a saw wave um, with max out filter and nothing else. It's got uh, three layers of voice stacking for kind of a unison effect. And then in this device, you can solo each of the splits. This is what the loud one sounds like. Very little coming through. The mids. And the quiets. Which makes sense. This is, you know a saw wave, and so the quietest parts are actually those buzzy parts. Um, but this is kind of what inspired this patch, was these mids. They're very sparkly already. And so that's what I really wanted to highlight in my version of this. You can see the whole device chain here. Um, so what I wanted to do was just make something like a shimmer reverb. I had to Google how to do that. Um, so basically there's a couple pitch shifters on here their mix set so that some of the original pitch comes through and some of the shifted pitch. And I did that three times so that they go up, what's that, eight, no, 30, 36 semitones? Yeah. Then add the reverb and delay on top of that. It sounds pretty. For the loudest sounds, just wanted them to kind of growl a bit and then we have like a tremolo effect just to make them move around and you can see the depth and the tremolo here is bouncing up and down along with the drive this is what uh this is what my after touch is doing which is pretty cool and then on the quiets well, you can barely hear these at all because they're really buzzy. So I just turn them down over here. Uh, so we add a whole bunch of movement here with a phaser and a chorus just to kind of tone them down even more and give them something to do. And then the whole thing. Like that. So it goes from very peaceful to So this is the first patch I made and this one was my favorite just because it sounds really pretty and also you can make it growl. So the second one I made is with the frequency split. It's called Vomitorium. I didn't know what to do with this so I just kind of made it. If you're wearing headphones, it might make you sick because it just moves around a whole lot. Um, so it's <laughs> just kind of weird. I was having fun with it. Um, just the oscillator for this is another just plain saw wave, full filter, everything. Um, let's look at the device. So this just 
kind of splits it up into bands of harmonics. Change the size of those. Modulate. So it can be pretty cool, but everything I did with it kind of made it sound a little bit dizzy. Um, so, yeah, and then what I did was I panned uh, each of the different groups, and that made me my head spin even more. Um, so I just leaned into that. I added just a couple effects on each one. Chorus, delay, phase. I just really just picked some random things, so they're all a little bit different. And then I added these random modulators to it. So basically the size of each split shrinks and grows, and then the position of each split shrinks and grows based on these modulators. And you get this strange effect. Um, not sure how much I'm going to use this one in reality. Um, it seems pretty cool, but it's not the sort of thing where I think, uh, like, I'll have an idea and be like, which device do we need to accomplish this idea? I don't think it's ever going to be frequency split, but it might be useful probably come up with some cool stuff just playing around with it. The third one I call Sewer Goblin. It sounds like the Sewer Goblin's theme song. This one actually sounds very different on different parts of the keyboard. This is really fun. Alright, so this is using the harmonic split device, and I'm going to this is the plain one. The um, original sound is just another saw wave, this time a little bit filtered. This one's kind of fun. It reminds me of the harmonic oscillator in pigments, uh, but the difference is this is working on audio and not MIDI, so it doesn't actually know where the fundamental is. It has to guess, and that makes it uh, not very effective when you're playing chords. And so I set this one to be monophonic um, so that it could better choose where the fundamental is, and then from there, it's going to choose the even and odd harmonics, or you can change it to thirds, fourths, fifths, yeah. So I did evens and odds. There's the odds. There's the evens. These are the ones that aren't part of the harmonic series for that fundamental. Which, the lower notes have a lot more of them. I don't know why. All right, here's the actual device. Um, the odds are just a little bit saturated. Um, the evens just have a little bit of reverb. But the nons... <laughs> I did a lot of stuff to these. These are the most fun because uh, they're not the things you expect to hear. That's where that cool sound comes from. So, I mean, you can hear the chorus and delay. There's a little pitch shifter on there. It just kind of gives it a little bit of depth. I think the interesting part is I just stuck a tool on here. Basically did a separate amp envelope for these. So you can see the volume of these non-harmonics. Kind of does that envelope thing. So, like I said, this one has sweet spots. These two notes are like my favorite out of the whole thing. The high notes don't really do anything that's interesting. Um, they don't sound too bad in context. Because you do have the evens and odds sound, sound nice, you know? just transforms into something cool down there. I like that. All right, the last one is uh, using the transient split. Tried to do something percussive with this. I don't know how well that worked. Um, so what I have here is a sine wave. Um, and it rings out a bit just so that I have a transient and I have a tone, a 
call it sustain in the transient in the other transient device. So the transient sounds like this. Just a little thump tone. Just basically a sine wave with the slow attack. I actually did a lot to these. So the transient, you can hear it's a bit louder. The first thing this does is run through this first EQ, which just rolls off a whole bunch of the high end. Just, there's some buzzing up there that I wanted to get rid of. Um, and then it saturates, makes it a bit thumpier. And then I have this more complicated EQ here. So I was taking advantage of the fact that um, it's only the transient and not the body of the sound. So I did this really big boost um, right around the fundamental. Because um, I felt like I could get away with it. And then I key tracked it. Um, so the lower I am on the keyboard, the more it boosts it because it was the bass. But as you get up higher, you really don't want it as much. So it goes down. And then there's just a limiter at the end because this just gets kind of loud sometimes. Um, and for the tones, these are not too complicated. It's just a little pitch shift. Um, you can see it's got a little envelope there too. I don't know, it's probably coming from over here. Yeah. So you get a little bit of higher pitch stuff right at the beginning, but then it rolls off very quickly. Um, it's running through tremolo again. Kind of give it that purring effect. And then the delay at the end. So, all together. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. It's not as cool as some of the other ones, but uh, I think this device could be really useful um, in practice. So yeah, there's a quick rundown of everything I made with these new toys. Um, really like loud split, um, and I think transient split would be pretty cool. I use the transient control device sometimes when I'm dealing with drums and things. So um, I can see myself using this basically for the same purpose, but with the addition of uh, the split effects, which is really cool. So I'm working on a couple more videos. Um, I just wanted to make this one real quick because I thought these patches are pretty cool, and I really like these devices. I'm glad that they were added to Bitwig in this most recent update. Yeah, so expect a couple new videos soon. I have a new microphone uh, coming in the mail, so I'll probably wait for that just to get rid of this uh, lisp that I don't actually have in real life. My microphone isn't, uh, isn't the best, so yeah, stick around if you're interested. Thank you.